All right, welcome to uh, week two of Let's Talk. Um, this week was all about anxiety and stress and worry, which I have none of because I just ate a Reese's egg. Um, but in, in the message, I gave you my, <clears throat> uh, my layman's definition for those emotions. Certainly weren't the official medical definitions, but um, I just think they're helpful in um, identifying what we're actually dealing with. And for me, it helps to kind of bring those emotions to the surface and name them. It helps me deal with them when I know what it is that I'm feeling and kind of have some handles uh, to grab on to. But um, one of the things that I couldn't figure out how to communicate in the message was this difference between like the ongoing stress and anxiety and the short-term stress or the situational stress and anxiety. Uh, we all deal with the short-term stuff. It's just normal part of life. But that ongoing kind of long-term stuff that we, we deal with, uh, um, I, that's what I really wanted to tackle. I think that's actually what Jesus is talking about in Matthew chapter 6 when he talks about worry. Um, and I think one of the reasons Jesus taught on this is because he looked in, uh, at the people that he was with and he saw their faces and there were people that he loved, and he said, they look worried. <laughs> I, think, I think we need to talk about this. And, and so he talked about it. And some people view Jesus' teaching on this as unhelpful or incomplete, because uh, it just kind of feels like he doesn't care. Like, just, just don't worry. But when you look at what he says, like really look at what he says in context, the audience that he's talking to, um, some of the things that he gives us, uh, to do it's it's really brilliant it it reveals the stuff that is at the end of our stress and anxiety it reveals kind of the 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 reason why we're dealing with that that's that's why i use the analogy of the rope sometimes we don't know what's at the end of our rope like when we use that phrase i'm at the end of my rope we're usually talking about being fed up or we're done we're tired we're exhausted we're messing with something, a, a conflict or a tension um, that, we, that we just want to forget about and move on. Or maybe we're dealing with somebody that we just want to kind of move on from. But in this instance, I think getting to the end of our rope might be the best thing we could do. Because it's at the end of our rope that we find the reason for our worry. Or we find the reason um, for our anxiety. Um, so... Those, those stressful emotions that we feel from time to time, or for some of us on an ongoing basis, they're attached to something. They're attached to somebody. They're attached to memories. They're attached to, to events. And sometimes that's something or that's somebody or those events, they're hidden, and we can't figure it out. We just know we feel something. Um, and sometimes we need help. To figure it out that's why some of us we we need to sit down and talk with a licensed Christian counselor um, but other times we can figure out what's at the end of our rope by by spending time in prayer by spending time in reflection by having conversations like you're getting ready to have in your group um, and then asking God to help us do um, whatever he needs us to do so so that's what we're going after this week what's at the end of your rope why is it there? And I think if you can answer those two questions, um, it will start to reveal, it'll start to help. Um, okay, what do I need to do about this? So have a great conversation in part two of Let's Talk.